Uh, first of all, uh, congratulations for this amazing season because the the numbers are incredible. Um, it looks like Barca is invincible right now. But uh, what are your feelings about this season? Oh, we're having a really good season, and uh, we just continue uh, like a really good series with like uh, 20 out of 20 in the league. Uh, actually, only the Super Cup was a bit sad, but like the season has been really good so far. So we have to continue like work really hard and like um, stay as a team really together. That's our like power and what we have now. So just continue what we're doing now. Mm -hmm. Well, in Barca, you, the players, and also the coach, uh, you always say that the main objective of the season is to win the Spanish league. But um, with the, the, these amazing results, uh, can we talk about the, winning the Champions League as a real objective? Of course, I think like the Spanish league, we're doing really well. So yeah, we have to continue like this. But of course, like uh, as the players, as we have, like we're having a really good season. I think uh, there's a lot of things possible, but like we have to look everything <laughs> step by step. So first is uh, this Wednesday, and then we will see what's going to be the result, and then we have to work the second Wednesday again. So we we can't talk about anything yet, but yeah, of course this team has a lot of potential, and I think this team is in like um, really good um, feeling now that we can do a lot, but like we can say like we want this, we want that. We have to work really hard every day on the pitch for it. Okay. Uh, well, as you say, the next uh, play is against Manchester City in quarterfinals. Um, what do you expect from City? What do you, are your feelings in, about this game? I think it's going to be an open game. Uh, not that uh, we haven't played against as many uh, strong opponents as them, but like uh, I think we're in a really good uh, uh, we're really good this season, but we have to continue like what we're doing and like look at us. Okay, we know they have some good players, they have a good team, but we have it as well. And we have like a really good uh, position and we create a lot of chances and we have some individual players and like we have to look at ourselves and I really believe that we can do something good. Mm -hmm. Well, unfortunately, you won't be able to play at Johan Cruyff Stadium because of the pandemic restrictions. Um, that's bad, especially because you have won all uh, the games you played there. Um, do you think this can be a handicap for you? No, I, I mean, there shouldn't be an excuse, but like, of course, like that Johan Cruyff st Stadium is something special for us. We did something like the last, uh, I don't know how many games we played there, we have won. So we have a really good feeling in our, our home um, stadium. We, we, of course, like it said that we can play there of the pandemic. Uh, but like there are no any excuse, so we have to focus on tomorrow. We're gonna see the pitch, have a good practice there, and then like focus. We can do anything. We can change it, so we have to focus on that. But of course, like it's really sad that we can play here. Well, there have been a lot of controversy about the timetable in this season for champions. Um, you will play at twelve thirty in the morning in Monza, uh, it looks like it's not the best uh, time to play a, a Champions game. I, I don't know what you th do you think about this? Yeah, like, uh, I mean, like, for people to watch and everything, it's not the best time. Like, they decided, like I said, like, well, before we don't have any excuses. We are used to play early also, like, here in the season. So that we shouldn't say it's an excuse, but, like, that maybe the later will be better, bro. I mean, like, no excuse for for the game. Uh, what do you say? Do you think it's the key to win uh, Manchester City? The key, like, I mean, like patience also, but like also uh, having the ball because they used to have also the ball in their league. So it's gonna be interesting who's like dominate the game, and if we dominate it, I think we can do really good. Mm -hmm. Well, even if, if if you are lucky and in a, in a hypothetical semi-final, you will probably won avoid Lyon. And last time you faced them, it was in the final in Budapest two years ago, and they won. But it looks like you are a completely different team now. What do you think that changed from then to now? Oh, I have way more experience. People have like two more years experience. Like you need those finals also to to learn and to go further and I mean it's something really history for the club that we made it to the final unfortunately we couldn't do better in the final but I think those games you need to progress and I think this team has done like 
uh, a really big progress the last couple a couple of years. So you see that it pays off now. But like now it's also time to show it again, like in the Champions League where we are and what we are, and that we have a really good team. Well, last season um, you lost the semi-finals against Wolfsburg, but you were superior. And what meant that game to you and for to Barca's confidence? Yeah, that we are really close. That we are not like have to be. Uh, that we have to look at ourselves because we have a really good team. And um, that clubs like Wolfsburg, like that semi-final, that we don't that we dominate that game. That it was said that we didn't score, but like we created a lot of chances. And that's like giving also uh, a good feeling for the upcoming games in the Champions League because we can compete against those big teams. So that's a good feeling. Well, as we said, uh, Barca improved a lot in the last uh, years, but also did the, the other uh, European teams. So it's true that Lyon won the last five Champions League, but uh, do you think that there is a clear uh, favorite this year? I don't know. For, for them, it's like uh, maybe a bit more pressure than us. Like, I mean, for other teams as well. I, I, I want to see how it's going to end this season. I mean, like what you said, like there are more teams doing really well. And in Champions League, everything can happen. Like women football has uh, developed so much, so it's really interesting who's going to win the Champions League this year. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I asked you about the key to win Manchester City, but more in general, what do you think that would be the key for any team to to win this Champions League? I'm playing your own playing style. I think all the teams have their own playing style where like we want to have the ball where other teams maybe go for the counter attack and stuff like that. And if you do those things at 100% and work really hard and believe in the team and work for it, I think it's, it, it's like it begins with that. And then of course, it's an open game with the other opponents have also really good qualities. But like, I think we have to believe in ourselves and from there, I think we can play a really good game. Or in the last one, uh, tell me something to Barca fans that won't be able to see you in Johan Grief. No, it's said like they still can't like uh, come to the stadium. It's allowed now, but uh, yeah, we will see them against uh, Levante. Uh, that's the first game that we play at home. And unfortunately, but hopefully we, we make it uh, till the semi-final so we can see them and uh, play not against uh, England team then. So then maybe we can see them, hopefully. Hopefully. Thank you very much and, and good luck. That's all. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.